Okay, hello, and uh, let's uh, reset this Samsung Galaxy J7 from the Ryzen Wireless. Uh, first of all, must we power off, and you can remove your SD card to, to save some files uh, stored in the SD card, external memory card, okay? And this process will remove any pass password, pattern, or pin blocking the screen of your phone. If your screen is blocking with Google, uh, this uh, process will remove, but uh, after the factory reset, you need to confirm that Google and password in order, in order to proceed okay so it's extremely important that you know the account because if not your phone will um, block permanently so I just so you know okay you're gonna start using the volume up and the home button and the power key you wanna hold those three buttons together and as soon as the Samsung logo appears on the screen you're gonna see a, a message on the top of the screen uh, says uh, recovery mode with the blue letters then uh, when you see the message then you are safe to uh, and to re release those three buttons okay so you're gonna start using volume up home button and power key okay you see recovery mode with blue letters release three buttons uh, cool. and then you will see system installing system update um running and then following of that you're gonna see a android logo then we are good to go so right there okay so you're gonna it's gonna take like 19 to 20 seconds uh, on the android package and then you're gonna see we're gonna find a recovery menu to continue so just be patient just wait on that right there okay so now using volume down we're gonna scroll and highlight wipe data factory reset is the fifth op option okay once the highlighted or uh, selected just press the power button okay and last step is a uh, confirm okay so doing this uh, any information stored on your phone like emails um, pictures videos contacts will be uh, deleted delete on this phone so if you agree with that just uh, press volume down to highlight yes and press the power button to go to confirm or enter now your phone is wiping all information last step is automatically highlighted the reboot system now okay right there so if just press the power button to confirm and now the phone will power off and power on again okay so it's gonna take a few minutes just be very patient on that until we'll be able to get to the initial setup okay it's gonna take a few minutes on Verizon logo working on the system okay so this process um, also if your phone um, gets stuck on the Verizon logo uh, it doesn't fully power on um, this helps a lot to calibrate the motherboard in order to uh, the phone to work better so if that is your case uh, just uh, remove the battery wait five seconds uh, put it back on and start holding volume up home button and power key as we did at the beginning of the video and do perform a hard reset okay that helps the, uh, the motherboard but uh, remember that you need to know the google account associated with this phone because you need to confirm and um, you need to know that any information stored on the uh, phone's memory will be deleted so you need to know that okay so just be patient on Verizon logo it's gonna take like five to eight minutes if it is takes longer than that uh, 10 15 minutes then uh, that means that something's wrong just remove the battery wait five to ten seconds put it back on and start the process again okay because your mother will need to uh, calibrate so you can do this uh, process up to like 10 8 to 10 times until you are able to get to the home screen okay so but only if the Verizon logo gets stuck there more than 10 minutes 
only been like a two minutes so just be patient on this Dyson, Dyson, Dyson. Okay, so in the meantime, uh, please subscribe to my channel um, so you can have my videos as a reference in the future in case that you may need help uh, with other models besides Samsung Galaxy J7. I have videos on how to uh, turn off talk back um, when for accident that get activated and it is hard to use the phone. I have tutorials how to disable that attack back so just find those videos in my channel. Right there. Okay. So now I'm gonna press the home button okay in case that your screen goes off. Okay, right there. See what this brings. Okay, so even when you do a hard reset or you buy this phone as a brand new and it's an initial setup, you're gonna see this screen, okay? So you can activate the phone, you can add a line on family account from the, directly from the phone without calling the customer service or it's a replacement device or just for now, just hit on activate the phone, okay? Okay, now activate it. So in case that you already have this phone active on a Verizon account, uh, automatically restart activation, but exit activation because okay so right now you can it's welcome my page so just select your language then go next select a wi-fi we say we don't have any um this one is not activated and then any other account so for now skip or register your wi-fi skip anyways you can register your phone with a name in case that you lost the phone and somebody else find it and they guess your pattern password or pin um, but um, like Google will notice that it is a phone has been lost or stolen then they will ask to verify name and last name so it's very important to register one uh, for now you can register a pattern pin or password to block the screen but for now we're gonna skip this option you can do it later on from settings Google services, I suggest to leave everything on. It's very, very important to have those features. Um, okay, not now. Okay, next. Okay, you can set up your email or just skip this step and skip and cut it. Okay, we are on the home screen of the Samsung Galaxy J7. Thanks so much for watching my video and like I said before, please subscribe to my channel and any other questions, let me know in comments. Thank you.